Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So we're going to hop right on in and if you can do me a favor and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and then click the little bell so that way you get notified whenever I upload new videos. Alright, so pause the camera here, you can get all the measurements and then come join me at the craft table. So we're going to continue on using this Kaiser Craft paper collection. It's called Breathe. And as I said before, this is one that I've used, I want to say, it was, was it last year? If it wasn't last year, it was the year before. And um, it's still one of my faves. And I like this page because of the four squares, the four different sentiments. So um, I always like making four cards at one time. I've already done the other three. And I'm just going to show on camera the fi the fourth one, the final one. So on this one, I wanted to showcase the pattern paper. So I decided to make this, I think they have it as a three, three and, what, three and three fourths by three and three fourths card size or something like that. I decided to make mine a five and a half by five and a half a square card and my pattern paper I made uh, five and a quarter by five and a quarter and just in case uh, if you're first time watching my videos um, I always use the wet glue with the um, tape runners or ATG tape because it gives me just a few seconds to be able to move it around and adjust or pull it back up if I put anything down um, kind of wonky and um, yeah, so that's why I, de I decided to make mine a little bit bigger because it allows me to show um, more of that pattern paper, okay? And then for the center stripe, I used some silver um, glitter paper. And for the sentiment, even though in the picture it's round, this particular um, sentiment I couldn't punch out because it was so, um, the, it was spread out, the wording. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to make it square and put it on, a, um, a mat basically. So I'm just putting three pieces of foam, um, on the back of our sentiment piece. And then we're going to attach it to the card front. Now I do find that with this particular foam tape tape and some of the foam tapes, once you put them down sometimes, that's it. So even though I may have wanted to readjust or kind of lift it up a little bit, there was no going back. Once I had laid that down, it was over. So now I grabbed some Nouveau sequins. These are the pink tutu. And it was crazy because in the bottle, these sequins look very, very orange like almost like an orange sherbet and when I took it out and put it on the card I was like okay they actually kind of go <laughs> so I don't know that this is necessarily it's not an orange color on the paper I think it's just that weird in between pink yeah like a mixture of a pinky with an orange undertone maybe I don't know if that's even a, a way to describe something but um it worked they worked and that's a close-up of the jar and so I laid them out um, just like most crafters they'll tell you you know put your stuff down in odd numbers it's more pleasing to the eye I'm gonna tell you this I have a problem with doing just three like just three um, gemstones like when I do the nouveau drops I can do just three and move right along I don't need a whole thing of nouveau drops all over but for some reason, when I use sequins, <laughs> like, it's not a complete card if I can't have about 20 sequins on the, like, what is the problem with me? I have no idea. But when I'm putting these down, I'm using um, this jewel picker. I have so many. Listen, everybody, let's all raise our hands and admit, like, as soon as we see somebody using something, we have to, this inert need to go and buy it, right? So I got one of these 
because I saw, I want to say Amy R use it or something like it. Then I got a crystal, uh, crystal katana, not the really expensive one, but like a, a, one of the newer versions. Oh, and I'm showing you there the, the punch that I used for the other three sentiments. I was able to make those round, but I still put them on the, um, matte paper only because at the time I didn't have my, um, I don't have a bigger handheld punch for the three inch and I didn't feel like bringing out my manual. So it went on to square. I still like the way it turned out and, um, you know, I think it just lends to being able to make a lot of these cards at one time, but back to my other story. Yeah. So the pickup tool just grab you something whatever works if it's a tweezers if it's the katana if it's the we are memory keepers one whichever one that'll help get the sequins in place get it. it it definitely does help all right so thank you guys so much for joining me make sure you hit the like subscribe and share button you can leave a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it or leave a comment down below and i will definitely read them and i always try and comment so thanks again you guys and i hope you have a great day